Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, I'm going to go through the 49 meter band and using the uh, EIBI space list of frequencies. I'm going to kind of uh, show a demonstration of how I, you know, look at and know what I'm listening to. So, of course, my location is Montreal, Quebec, Canada, which means that um, anything that will be here, we've got to focus on the fact that on this band, it's listenable in the northeast part of North America. So what could it be? And, of course, your location will dictate part of what you can hear if there's more than one transmission on the frequency. And then there's other little things that you will actually look at, including language. What type of language are you listening to? So let's start with 5,800 kilohertz. Not very strong. It was in English just before, and now there's a song. If I go into the EIBI space list of frequencies, what's on 5,800 kilohertz? Well, the dominant station on 5,800 kilohertz is, of course, WRMI here. Uh, we have to take into consideration the time. It is 2323 UTC. So there must be a transmission in here that is somewhere within 23 hours universal time that is in English. And so the first that we see here is 22201. 5800 and it says that it's Radio Miami International WRMI. Uh, the full info here is 5800 kilohertz the frequency. The time of the transmission 22201 from the United States. It's WRMI. E for English. L A M for Latin America, which is the target zone, and O is the transmitter site for Okeechobee, Florida. So, any other transmissions at this time on this frequency? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. It's really the only transmission. So, in this case, you can go wrong. You know that something in English must be WRMI. And it fits with the fact that I live in the northeast part of North America. So, I would hear that uh, probably. The next signal that I see here is 5850. And this one is, of course... Very weak also, but let's get something that is more listenable. Here's 5950. So that's 5950. Come on, line. If the church had done her job, if if this God, if this is God's word, and God's word being true, it is a prayer power coming forth from the holy people of God. So it's an English transmission, once again, in this case, religious transmission, 5950. Let's move the list to 5950. We're once again at 2325 UTC. So what's on this frequency, 5950, at 23? So one of the first things we see here is that there's a fire drink or CNR1 jammer in Mandarin. Can be that. It's not in Mandarin. And China's in daytime right now. 5950 would not make it, really. So it can be that. What else do we have? Well, we have a 22 through 24 Radio Free Asia. Once again, this one, not totally impossible since it's from Kuwait, but what we hear is in English, and this is not in English. So it can be that, once again. <clears throat> what else is there in English? Well, the last one here on the list. So you see there are three possibilities, but the language is really helping us identify what it is. It's not Chinese Mandarin, and uh, it's not uh, in Tibetan. Uh, so it can be, you know, Free Asia. It can be CNR1 Jammer or Fire Drake. Also, because I know that it's daytime uh, pretty much in China, we wouldn't hear um, pretty much, we wouldn't hear anything out of China on such a low frequency in the middle of the day. So we have, once again, Radio Miami International from 21 to 01 UTC in English to Eastern North America. So you see that's why it's stronger 
I am in the northeast part of North America, so it's kind of directed towards me from the Okeechobee transmitter site. Continue our search on what's on the 49 meter band. We have a signal right here on 59.90. Now. So it's in English. How people look at themselves and look at their relations with others. Well, I think the It's a little low in modulation. Gives me an idea of what it is and where it comes from, but let's check it out. 5990. What's in English at 5990 at 2328 UTC? So 5990 has a lot of stations. The ones that we can already remove is Echo of Hope from Korea at this time. So that is not possible. Uh, what else do we have? So 5990, anything? There's a 24 hour station in English to Western Europe uh, from Holland, Studio Denucker. Um, I don't believe that is what we hear because it's very strong. These stations tend to be weak, but we can't take, you know, we can't say it's not that because it is obviously a possible choice, and it's darkness path from there. And let's continue checking out what's in here, and this is probably going to be telling us that this China Radio International might be the one. And if we look at why, I would choose this because first of all, 5990, 23 to 24 UTC, which is right now, China Radio International. In English, it's to Central America, so possible that it would actually uh, propagate to here. And it's from Cuba transmitter site slash CUB. So once again, that is the biggest possibility, and definitely it is Radio uh, China Radio International from Cuba. Um, the other possibilities here was this PBS station from China once again. It's midday over there. Propagation from China would not happen towards North America. So these are little indications. And um, the only other one would be this 24-hour uh, station from Holland, which would probably be uh, weak because it's probably not very strong. Um, we can't, you know, uh, say it's not that when we don't know exactly what it is. So... Obviously, you would have to listen a little longer, uh, but in my case, I know that it, this is really uh, China Radio International. Now, right next to it, now this sounds in French, 5995, so what's on 5995 at 2330 UTC that we could actually check out? Well, here we go. I just clicked the wrong software, let me just uh, <laughs> shut down the uh, FLDG. Yes, here we go. So, it's 5995, what's on 5995 that could be French? Uh, let's check out 23. What's at 23? Anything 5995-23 UTC. 2330 particularly. What would there be possible in here? Uh, well, there's Radio Television Mali. Uh, here. So this is one possibility. And pretty much the only transmission at that time anyways. Now notice it's not in French here. I didn't listen enough to notice, but I think it was in French. You know, the languages for Mali are kind of interchangeable, inter sorry. So it could be, um, you know, some local language. It could be some French, some English. There's all sorts of uh, different languages. 
that mix in. And so um, even though it says that it's not French for this time, I know that it's Mali, and it's the only transmissions anyway that is on the air right now, so indicates possible Mali. Also, it's not impossible that it's in French rather than a local language, um, but that probably is Mali. But, you know, if you're not sure, this, this is a tough one for people that are not sure, because uh, the fact that it might not be the language you see here might kind of indicate, well, maybe I'm hearing something else. And you wouldn't be wrong in trying to figure out, maybe I am hearing something else. Um, it's really with experience that you start to learn. And my experience tells me, yeah, that's, that's Mali. I listen to it almost every day. Then you got 6,000 kilohertz here which has So 6000 kilohertz is in Spanish what could be in Spanish at 2330 So Mm, first, you can already just go to what's in Spanish, since it is the language that we can identify. And the only Spanish transmission on 6000 kilohertz, well, ends up being Radio Vania Cuba. And Monday to Thursday, they are 23 to 24 UT in Spanish to Eastern North America. So that tells me it's Radio Vania Cuba in Spanish. So language helps a lot when there's more than one transmission. So, you know, these are the ways that I actually use my, um, you know, going through the, the, the frequency ranges. So let's see anything else that's just strong enough to identify. Canada. Radio Sharecare. Because creativity, how it can work for you, and why you believe there are no business needs, only human needs. In order to actually get people to pay attention, you have to give attention, first and foremost. Chatter that matters with Tony Chapman. Presented by RBC, Friday at noon, right here on News Talk 1010. So here we got a clue, first of all, News Talk 1010. It's in English, it's 6070. So if you would look at the schedules for what's on the air at 2330-ish UTC on 6070, uh, you've got Canada, CFRX Toronto, and there was just a hint here. They said New Stock 1010, and it's the sister station of CFRB 1010. You would already kind of have a hint that that's the station. But there's another one, 6070, which is Channel 292, and this one is in German and in English. So, you know, if you're not sure, you could kind of listen in to see which one it could be. Uh, being close to Toronto for me means that's you know, the station I'm listening to. And the News Talk 1010 gave it away. But you might want to try to listen a little more. In Europe, you guys would probably be hearing Channel 292 because you're closer to Channel 292 there. So and that's pretty much the only transmission anyways in English at this time that is possible. It's either Toronto or Channel 292 from Germany. And in this case, we know it's uh, CFRX in Toronto. Next station, 6115. Faith in him, right? Faith in the Lord Jesus. And you know, they, uh, a lot of people talk about the person in the God is free person. So 6115 in English. What's in English on 6115? It's pretty strong here. At 23:30 some UTC in English. Let's check out English transmissions. Well, we got one here. Uh, this one ends at 23. So okay, and then we got 22 to 01 UTC here English, and that's pretty much the only thing in English that we can uh, note. And so this is WWCR in Nashville, Tennessee, to North America. So, kind of, you know, hints that this is WWCR. 6160 is the next frequency we have a signal from. I'd like to see you there too, brother. But if you're not, I'm still going to be glad to see you. Now, if you don't want to be there. 
So this is Brother Stair. What is broadcasting, Brother Stair, on 6160 at 2330 some? Well, let's check it out. So what's in English at this time, 23 to 24? Now, yeah, there's China Radio, but we told you earlier, 6160, middle of the day, pretty much impossible to propagate up to here. Then the other station in English that's here is WBCQ The Planet. And that's what we're hearing with Brother Stair to North America. And last but not least, 6180, we have... <laughs> So, what language it is? I do, um, I do know that this is Portuguese. This is a tougher one for a lot of people not used to listening to different languages. I might not be sure what language it is. So, let's start by looking at what's on sixty-one eighty at this time of day. Uh, sixty-one eighty at. Um, let's say you don't know the language. Well, you'll have to look at, okay, there's a possibility here with 19 to 03, Brazil, Rio Nacional, Amazonia. What else would you have as a possibility? China. China is in English, so even if you don't know, it doesn't propagate that was not English, it can be China. And we continue down 6180, and there's really nothing else at 23. 35 that could be heard so it either is china in english or something else and we definitely know that it's something else i understand and i know that that's portuguese i don't understand but i know it's portuguese and p for portuguese with brazil kind of fits 6180 kilohertz 6180 kilohertz so this is the frequency they broadcast from 19 to 03 UTC, which is, of course, includes 2330 or 2340 UTC from Brazil, Radio Nacional Amazonas, and Portuguese to Brazil and their transmitter site. And I believe Brasilia or close to Brasilia, Brazil. So uh, this is the way I do it uh, using EIBI space. We're going to do the same exercise. But we're going to do it using uh, shortwave.info so that you also see shortwave.info. Um, I'm a list guy, so like you guys know, I like using this list. I've got accustomed to the different abbreviations of the list. So I'm kind of used to scrolling and going through it. One of the things that I also enjoy with this list is the fact that... Um, it is most of the time one of the most accurate of all um, where a lot of the other websites sometimes take a few days sometimes to uh, uh, you know really get up to date so they miss out on some frequencies from time to time so this was the demonstration i wanted to show you guys and maybe you guys will learn from my own um you know scanning the 49 meter band at this time and checking out the schedules and trying to find out what we can hear. Uh, these videos are really meant to be here to help out uh, and hopefully help you learn a little more how to identify signals on shortwave. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.